Okay, so let's say you have a GoDaddy website and it says GoDaddy, uh, Go Central Website Builder or any uh, GoDaddy website and you want to add uh, online order to it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, typically, your website will have some tabs here. It will say Home, Menu, About, Contact Us. It may already have a button for order online or it may, it may not have this button. So what we're going to do is we're going to link it uh, to the Smart Online Order page. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So right now when I press order online, it takes me um, to this page, which there's nothing here. So we're going to change this link so it actually takes us to a, a, an online ordering page. And we're going to connect it to this link right here. This is the order online page, so we're going to connect it to this link. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, first, what you do is you go to your GoDaddy and then sign in. Once signed in, uh, go ahead and look for your website. So this website we have is called A Touch of Basil. And right here, there's a button here called Edit Site. Again, your dashboard may look different, but just kind of find where you can change your website. So click on that. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And then here's the website, uh, Builder by GoDaddy. So we're basically going to focus on this link right here. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the link. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll this down a little bit. So here's the URL for GoDaddy, where we are right now. We're going to link it to this page right here. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste it. Copy. And then go back to the GoDaddy website. And we're going to link it now. Okay, so once you go, once you see the order online page, just press um, Pages. And since this page here um, goes inside GoDaddy, uh, we're going to change that. See how when I click on Page Settings, it basically just says order online, it says show navigation, show and footer. We're going to do that a little bit differently. We're going to actually going to remove that page and we're going to add another one because uh, it looks like somebody tried to add it but it did it incorrectly. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and press add. See how it says new page? Uh, we're not going to do a new page. We're going to do link to external website. So uh, this one was created was as new page. If you do as new page, it's going to be a page within the website. What we, want, what we want is a link to external website. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to press paste. So where does paste come from? The paste came from this link right here. This is the order online page. It's the one that was emailed to you. So you just copy the link and then paste it right here. Paste it right here. See? Okay. And then that's what's going to open up. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to also show it in the footer. Uh, okay. So actually, hold on, let's do it. Um, it actually goes in this one, not that one. Right here, this one's going to be called the name. So we're going to call it uh, Order Online. It actually has the same name as that one. So let me just call it Order Online, and then that way I can remove that one afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and um, press Add Link button right here. Sorry, let me not add link. Let me just move this up because it's at the very bottom. See on the bottom of the page, it has a create link button. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. The reason why I added an S to it, uh, so I can not confuse it with this one. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Delete page. Okay, now uh, now that we deleted that, now we have um, home, closing date, menu about us, and it says more. I'm going to go ahead and change the more uh, back to this. Back to where it doesn't say uh, online orders. I'm going to go ahead and press um, uh, link settings and I'm going to call it order online. Okay, again, the only reason I added S to it was because there's another page called order online and I wanted to make sure that I delete the other one and then uh, put this back on there. Okay, and let me go ahead and uh, press done. So now we have order online button right here. So when the customer comes to the website, they'll be able to click on this and order online. And I just noticed this. I'm going to go ahead and work on that too. I just noticed that they have this delivery thing here. It says delivery $2 fee with 5 miles, $3 fee, uh, or 5 miles. So let's go ahead and just uh, add, do this also while we're here. I'm going to press publish. Okay, it's published. Um, go ahead, uh, and then I'm going to show you how to log into your back end of your website. So when you go to your order online page, you want to make changes to it, like add delivery. All you do is go to the link and then press forward slash wp dash admin, just like that. And then press enter, and then once you press enter, you can log in. 
Okay, so I'm logged in. Now let's take a look at this delivery fee. It says uh, we deliver two dollar fee within five miles and three dollar fee over five miles. Okay, so uh, let's do that. That shouldn't be too difficult to add. Okay, so let's go on the dashboard. We're gonna click on Clover orders here. Settings. First, let's double check to make sure delivery features enabled. Uh, so how do we check that? We click on uh, order types. Order types uh, uh, shows you what kind of deliver, what kind of options they're accepting. They can, so let's take a look so you can see what I'm talking about. So we have delivery and pickup. Okay, so this is enabled. The way you can tell is green, and this is green. These are all disabled. Uh, these are normally used for inside the store. Whenever you see the word online, this is what the customers for online will use as the order type. Okay, let's go ahead and go to delivery fees here. And let's go ahead and uh, add the $2 delivery fee. So we'll just call it, you can call it any name you want, Zone 1 Delivery Radius. Um, let me see what it was. I forgot how many radius it was. Okay, let me check. It was $2 fee with 5 miles. Okay. 5 miles radius, uh, $2 fee. Um, yeah, and then let's draw the zone. The zone is drawn, press validate selected like zone, radius 5 miles. And then, uh, as you know, the condition they had was that if it's over 5 miles, it would be how much? Over 5 miles. $3 feet over 5 miles. So let's go ahead and add uh, that as well. It says uh, other zone delivery fee. Uh, as you saw, they charge $3 if it's over 5 miles. So there we go. Added that. Save changes. Okay, so now we got uh, delivery fee added $2. If they order within this area, and if they order outside the area, they get charged three dollars. Because it says other zone delivery fees. This delivery fee will be applied for customers that aren't in the delivery zones. Okay, so there we go. We knocked out two things. We got the the order online button uh, created. So let's go ahead and verify that. Actually, we haven't verified it yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page. Now, when I press order online on a GoDaddy website, it will allow me to order online and have the orders print directly to the Clover POS, Clover Station, Clover Mini, uh, it'll print to it, and you also get an email. Yep, that's how we did that. Feel free to check out the other videos. If you have questions, uh, uh, reach out to us. Thank you so much.